De Fight Ap Guilim, c. 1315-1320, c. 1350-1370, is regarded as one of the leading Welsh poets and amongst the great poets of Europe in the Middle Ages. De Fight Ap Guilim Scholar R. Garin Gra I'd suggest Ka.1315 Ka.1350 as his dates, other scholars place him a little later, Ka.1320 Ka.1370. Life, tradition has it that he was born at Progenon, Pinrincock, at the time land by Arnfor Parish, Saradigen. His father, Gwilym Gam, and mother, Ardudfil were both from noble families. As one of noble birth it seems Defi did not belong to the guild of professional poets in medieval Wales, and yet the poetic tradition had been strong in his family for generations. According to R. Geraint Gra he died in 1350, a possible victim of the Black Death. Tradition says that he was buried within the precinct of the Cistercian Strait of Florida Abbey, Saradigen. This burial location is disputed by supporters of the Tally Abbey theory who contend that burial took place in the Tally Abbey churchyard, on Saturday, September 15, 1984 a memorial stone was unveiled by a Pryford to mark the site in the churchyard at Tally where a deeply rooted tradition asserts that the poet De Fide Ap Gwilym lies buried. For many centuries the rival claims of Tally and Stradfler have been debated as the burial place of Wales' foremost poet. The first recorded observation that De Fide Ap Gwilym was buried in Tally was made in the 16th century. Tally is located about 30 miles from Strait of Florida, Welsh, Stradfler. Poetry It is believed that about 170 of his poems have survived, though many others have been attributed to him over the centuries. His main themes were love and nature. The influence of wider European ideas of courtly love, as exemplified in the troubadour poetry of Provencal, is seen as a significant influence on Deified's poetry. He was an innovative poet who was responsible for popularizing the meter known as the seawood and first to use it for praise. But perhaps his greatest innovation was to make himself the main focus of his poetry. By its very nature, most of the work of the traditional Welsh court poets kept their own personalities far from their poetry. Deified's work is full of his own feelings and experiences. His main theme is love, and many of his poems are addressed to women, but particularly to two of them, Morfud and Degu. He is also recognized as a very fine nature poet. His best known works include the following poems. Morfud fell your hall, Morfud like the sun, a poem to the wife of an Aberystwyth merchant who seems to have had a long affair with Deified, and whom he addressed in many poems, full text merch land by Arn, the girls of land by Arn, in which he speaks of going to church on Sunday purely in order to ogle the local women, full text trouth Tafarn, trouble in a tavern in which he recounts an incident in a tavern that would be worthy of any slapstick film, full text year Wylan, The Seagull, a poem in which Deified asks a seagull to carry a message to his love, full text Wyrugle Grown, The Rattle Bag, in which Deified's intercourse with a young girl is cruelly interrupted, full text, and Seawid Y Gal, a poem in praise of the penis, a risque piece of pure medieval erotica, full text. Until recently not included in Deified's canon for reasons of editorial squeamishness. According to Charles Johnston's explanatory notes on the Astri, Naive C. D. Beethoven, Irish, Welsh and Scottish Songs, 2001, the words to Wu 15526 while I this leader, near 14 der Drom. 1810, were translated from the Welsh of Deified Ap Gwilym. This would be Deified's dream vision poem Why Breadwood.